Our next guest tonight is an actor and a comedian. Uh, you can see him June 20th at the Palace Theater in Columbus, Ohio. Please welcome D.L. Hughley. Thank you, my friend. They play, that's, that's some black folk music right there. <laughs> Make me want to clean up the house and borrow some money, man. Like, <laughs> hey, man, why do y'all keep it so cold? How much extra for heat back there, man? It, we we store meat. It's another way to make money here. <laughs> we have all kinds of, like, smoked turkey back there. <laughs> oh, you want to know what's going on. Is that what that was? Yeah, man. yeah. Did you smoke that turkey? Now... Oh, no. What in the news has caught your eye lately, my friend? What, what's going on? Because I know that you read the paper. Um, as I've already said, I don't. But uh, what's going on? You know, it was a, it was a white cat that went uh, camp, camping in the middle of the mountains, and a rock fell on his arm. Mm -hmm. And uh, first off, I don't understand why you go cramping with just a granola bar and a butter knife any damn way. But right, right. Black folk, we don't camp. If we outside under the stars, we don't got evicted. That ain't gonna happen. <laughs> You're not interested, <laughs> not interested in <laughs> camping. Why are we outside? Because the marshal said we couldn't go back in. That's why we're outside. <laughs> but he uh, cut his arm off, man. And yeah. I thought that was brave, man, because it had been a whole lot of options before I decided to cut my arm off. I, I'd well, see I if I could lose some weight and get skinny. <laughs> Huh, damn. <laughs> yeah. I'm weak, but I'm two-handed. You think you think you would have waited longer before oh, making man. that decision yeah. to, to chop off the hand. And then I'm watching, like, uh, the war, man. And I, I was, like, personally against the war, but I was also against paying $2.50 a gallon for gas, so something had to happen, man. Right. <laughs> something had to give. I had to turn my head. Go do what you gotta do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm wondering what we was dropping bombs on, because you seen Baghdad? Baghdad is raggedy. The bombs we dropped cost more than the stuff it was hitting. You see that? <laughs> A million dollar bond to blow up a three dollar ten. You must be out your mind. We in a recession because they ain't spending money right. That's all that's right, wrong. Right, right. And then they got SARS, but black people really don't worry about that because Southwest Airlines don't go to China. And uh, <laughs> that's, that's, that's our thing. So it's not a concern. Mm. Not a concern. No, man. But you know we scared, man. You, stuff ain't really went good for black folks because we find out the sniper was black. That really messed us up. You know? Right, right. Because we was at home just going, I know we ain't had nothing to do with this. <laughs> but we did. And the best thing about it was that a brother caught him. Charles moved to chief of police, which was cool. He was a brother. But So that made it OK. Yeah. It, it, he was the chief of police, except I couldn't understand a damn thing he said. When, mm -hmm. when you're a spokesperson, you're supposed to not have spoke. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> Every time he said something, I wanted to buy a vowel. It was confusing to me. I... <laughs> now, uh, let me ask you, I mentioned sports earlier in the show. U.S. Open. U.S. Open. Coming yeah. up. Uh, are you a big Tiger Woods fan? Well, I'm a big Tiger Woods. Well, yeah, well, you know, it's different now because, you know, black folk, we got Venus, Serena, Tiger, white folk, y'all got Eminem. It's all different now, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, what happened there? I don't yeah. know what happened. And, and Eminem... We got golf. You, I mean, you have golf, tennis. Right. We have rappers. <laughs> right, right. And all... gangster. And you know what? Eminem is a great rapper, and he's madder than black people. We sit at home going, damn, how he pull that off? We, yeah. What are we gonna do? Yeah. It's, uh, he actually has built up more. I wonder how he did that. He's built up more I anger. I don't know. Mm -hmm. we now, got, he grew up in Detroit. Yeah, yeah. So now, like, Kid Rock uh, is from Detroit. Eminem from, I'm wondering what all the black folk moved to. Where do we go? <laughs> if, you can, if we can't have Detroit, where are we gonna go? I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. They took that from you. <laughs> right, right, right. Can't have yeah. nothing. How about your family life? I know you've got... How many kids do you have? I have, I have three. And, three kids. Uh, I've been married for 17 years. And now my wife wants to adopt some kids. And I'm like, I just started liking these kids. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're just starting to like oh, them yeah, now? Oh, yeah, man. Just... Wow. That's kind of... I'd say in the last week or so, I've really, really taken just kicked in. a shine to them. But she wants to adopt kids, which, you know, and I only like my kids because they're mine. And I know because I got them tested. Damn that. <laughs> Come to the doctor. Make sure your mama been telling the truth all this time. <laughs> Where are we going, Daddy? Don't call me that till the results come back. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not be premature here. <laughs> right, right. Let's get all the results. <laughs> and, you know, I respect you if you can adopt children because you got a lot, lot of extra love. I right. don't. You don't. Just enough to cover them. I would tell her, adopt the child, too. Do you love me? I don't even know you, man. <laughs> now, go get something to eat, number four. Hurry up. We got to move this four. thing along. You can't even cough up a name? <laughs> I love you, number four. <laughs> Now, uh, you've talked before about your family. Uh -huh. And you said that your family, uh, I mean, your extended family, like your, your dad, and that they uh, kind of had, you know, the, when, you, when you did well in, in show business, oh, yeah. that, that they sort of maybe took advantage a little bit. Yeah, is that fair to no, say? No, they borrow money like everybody does. See, the deal is that you guys might know a lot of people with money. You know, black folk, we probably know one, two, 
me. That's what all uh, we know. Right. Like my father, I remember I called him at work. I said, Daddy, I got a TV show. He quit his job that day. <laughs> right. I heard him on in the background. Well, that's it for me. Damn this. <laughs> Which would be okay, but every time I get something new, he wants, uh, like, I get a new car. Hey, son, when I'm going to get a new car? When you learn how to tell some jokes. That's when you're going to get a new car. <laughs> <laughs> he called me last week, and he said the doctor said that his diabetes was acting up. It, it's going to be $100,000 to save his leg. I'm like, Daddy, you done walked enough. Damn, that you. <laughs> you walked enough? <laughs> right. You've had two legs for 70 years. You can hop them last 10 on one. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wow, that's, that's great. <laughs> yeah. So you like, not only told him I'm not, you're gonna lose a leg, you told him how many more years you have left. Yeah, Specifically, right. that's the roughest thing about that joke. Tough love, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and before we go, I wanna know, you just did a movie in Canada, and I'm trying to picture you up now in, in right. Canada. Did you have a Canada. good time in Canada? I did, man, and they were the nicest people. I, and you know, they gotta be nice, cause their country's flag is a maple leaf, you know? <laughs> you can't be a really warlike people when you, Pull up in a tank with syrup on it. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, that's it. Fear us. Right, right. Fear my maple leaf. Oh, wow. They were really great people. Yeah. Uh, don't go back too soon. Right. Uh, <laughs> June 20th, DL is going to be performing at the Palace Theater in Columbus, Ohio, and July 5th at the Aladdin Hotel in Las Vegas. DL, it's always really funny Thank when you, you're here. Thank, Thank you, you very much. You. Always hilarious. DL Usually, we'll take a break. We'll be right back with Jewel. Stick around. Everybody, we're back. My next guest is an old friend of ours. She's here tonight with a song from her brand new album, 0304. Please give a great welcome to Jewel. That was great. Thanks so much for doing it. Jewel, everybody, we will take a break. We'll be right back. Stick around. That is our show. Do you want to thank all my guests? Uh, thank you so much, Jewel. That was great. Thanks for coming back. Always nice to have you on the show. 0304 is the album. Big thanks to D.L. Hughley for being here. Thank you, D.L. He's a good man. He's a strong man. Juliana Margulies, our thanks to her for being here. Jimmy Vavino and the Max Weinberg 7. Stay tuned for a last call with Carson Day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs> Sheriff, it has indicated that he, not not Abbas, is a, has a lead role in the negotiation with the, with the uh, Israelis. And for the second time, a meeting between Sharon and Abbas has been put off. Abbas has, has deferred to Abba, to uh, to him. To, what role do you think that he, yes, Arafat has in this, and is he trying to derail the process? And do you think he's pulling the strings behind the scenes?